What's up YouTube, it's me Jay Spike back in another video. This time it's as you can see, Tasty is sitting pretty right there, right in front of Green Valley window 10. As you can see, my car is stuck. No window 10, no nothing. 3M, ceramic AR. Basically all the side window, all is gonna be 15. And 70% crystalline in the front. All right, that's what I'm going with. This is how the Green Valley tent inside shop look like. The trophy. More on the other side over there. This is all their trophies. And more. Right there, 3M Pro Shop dealership. As you can see, Tasty is finally inside, getting ready to be tent. And I highly recommend doing the crystalline. If those of you that wanna just to do the windshield and the front two windows, because the crystalline, what is that? The darkest that you can go is 20%. So if you're just doing the front three windows, I suggest you do crystalline film lineup here at the Green Valley window tent. But if you're doing the whole thing, the ceramic AR will match more on the side, right? But other than that, there she is. It's getting prepped, getting clean. It is cutting the film. Getting it ready. Yep. There it is, cutting so it. this is all the ceramic 15%, right, Ricky? Correct. Yeah, it's everything on the sides of the vehicle. Okay. The reason why I'm going with the ceramic AR on the side because I want to sort of match a little bit and I want it to be darker than just a 20% in the front. I want it to be 15%, right? Because the shade ceramic is from 15% down to 5%. Where crystalline is the lowest they go for is 20%. Right? There he is cutting up the film. So the film is already pre cut with your laser cut? Correct. Oh, okay. We pull up your make model on our computer and our machine cuts everything out. There you go. They have a computer to actually pre cut this. That's why well, the big plus side to the computer cut, it keeps the blade off the vehicle as much as possible. Awesome. Now, if a pattern has to be adjusted, we all are all qualified to trim, shave, and adjust the pattern if need be. But majority of the time, the patterns that come off, they do a pretty good job. Awesome. It's a very heated debate in the tank community. Either pre cut or hand cut. So, how, how can't you tell within the film, right? With the naked eye, you cannot tell whether it's obsidian installed there or a 3M ceramic, right? I might be able to. Okay. Um, but to normal people, I cannot tell the difference, right? You're never going to be able to kind of see if it is a ceramic or not, unless you have a meter. You okay. have to have an, um, an IR meter. And then you'll be able to tell instantly because the obsidian is going to register at about 6 or 7% IR. Okay. And then uh, depending on which ceramic you picked out, you're going to range anywhere from... 70, if I'm not mistaken, it's in the 70 range, upwards of 95. Okay, if you have needs for PPF, definitely come over here. Do you recommend a full PPF the whole car or just the full front end? Or even the half one where you see a line in the your hood? Partial? No. Yes. Partials will, you know, they're going to cover your high impact areas. Uh huh. So if you, if you keep up on waxing and maintaining your car, it's indoor vehicle. Uh -huh. And when I say indoor, I mean you're parking underneath the structure every day. Correct. Parking in your garage. Uh -huh. You can get away with a, a deluxe. That's okay. That's a partial front hood. 
The reason why I say that is because if it's getting full exposure to the sun, uh -huh. what ends up happening is that the rest of your paint gets beat, beat to hell. And then when you pop off that clear bra, you got beautiful paint. And then you have war torn paint that if it's not taken care of properly, you're going to see a distinct Too different, line. yeah. You're going to see a distinct line in your hood. That's why usually the ultimate kit is our most popular kit. Which the ultimate kit is going to be full hood, full fenders, front bumper, backside mirrors. Do you do that? The, what was that? The ultimate? Do you do the headlight also? Uh, the headlights are not included, but they can be added. How much would it be doing the Tesla headlight? Headlights, as long as you're adding it to a kit, you're looking at an extra eighty bucks. Okay, for both. Yeah, as long as it's being added to the kit. And that will be. Um, protective against yellowing correct correct okay that actually worked that ppf we usually highly recommend headlights for that sort of reason but yeah you see how fast that he does it i was fortunate enough to get the you know the owner to do this the co-owner just keep in mind every time you come here it doesn't mean necessarily that you're gonna have him he's a super busy man like i said i'm lucky and fortunate enough to have ricky doing my actual car because they have another more professional people that are doing this thing too All right right now you can see right there they have a bmw x3 a camry so yeah they do all types of car and as far as the warranty i can go any 3m pro shop or any 3m certified any 3m shop okay any so 3m dealer um, authorized any level of 3M dealer you Okay. And how much would it be? The, any deductible? Any cost at all? No cost at all. And the warranty cover bubbles? Peeling, peeling. fading, discoloring, um, bubbling, pretty much product failure. Product fails, it's covered. Now, if you accidentally nick it with something, one thing that is very common. Absolutely not. Is um, rings. Watch. Watch. It happened to me all the time. Seat oh, really? Belt. Seat belts. Okay. Seat belts. GMs are notorious. Seat, their seat belts launch back. The tip of that belt hits that window, chip your tip. So is that true? Ceramic at a certain point of the year, it will the heat rejector will lower and lower. This is actually on a, one of the 3M website. That's that is the biggest reason why. Crystalline over ceramic. Okay. Crystalline's not going to do that. Uh, ceramic's going to. Because when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter which manufacturer. doesn't matter about which manufacturer you buy from. You buy from any of the big guys, we am included. Uh -huh. uh, these, this is a hybrid film. So Correct. this is an IR coating. Correct. Coatings fail. You put a coating out in the sun, doesn't matter what kind of coating you put out there, eventually it's going to fail. So how long would it take? So if uh, when, when that thing failed, I just basically go to the shop and then get it replaced? Correct. So if it comes down to it, I would say usually from what I've seen out of the ceramics. Uh -huh. Now this is referencing ceramics that were around eight years ago. Uh -huh. now, they improve every year, usually right. about seven to eight years. Um, okay, it's not like something like, you know, all the, all the time then basically, right? No, okay. it's also gonna depend where you park your car. Outside, okay. this car always outside. Huh? This car always outside. Okay, but you need, which way, what direction do you park it in? Where exactly. Is parking spot? How much sun is it getting on one side compared to the other? Yeah. So depending on all that, it could be one side fails, another one doesn't because the other one doesn't see sun. Okay. The same thing happens to paint. You see someone's car who parks next to their yard every single day in the same spot, uh -huh. you can see one side's all messed up and faded because the sun hits that one spot constantly and doesn't hit the other side because it's always just exposed. So it all depends on what side's exposed to. Okay. But usually about seven to eight years. Sure. 3M Pro Shop will guarantee you a lifetime warranty. You don't necessarily has to be this shop. I can go to any 3M, but you yeah, just stay sure with you're getting a, a warranty that is registered with 3M. And if you're not getting it. We don't do paper anymore. Neither does the 3M doesn't. It's all digital. Okay. So by the time that we're done, I'm done back here, and, you can, and everything gets cashed out and done. Uh huh. She's already gonna have your warranty done. You'll get an email, and then you'll already be registered with 3M. Sounds good. I appreciate so that. So you'll be in their database, you'll be in our database. So even with the pre-cut machine they have, you see how he still have to cut it on the back end? 
this is why you want to go to professional because sometimes accidents happen and trust me you don't want to deal with your car being damaged i've been taken care of but even a pre-cut window you still have to cut it toward the end right there which is what he's doing and those blades is super sharp trust me i have experience with many thin plays with my previous car it's a tough battle to go through to prove was it there was it not there and you don't want to come to that hassle trust me Take, take all of our vehicles, take pictures. There you take go. Pictures of the inside. I mean, the outside of the vehicle. Uh huh. And then one of my guys pulled in the back and check to see how to make sure all your windows are working. Uh huh. And there's no scratches or anything. And if as they're cleaning the windows, because one thing that happens quite often Correct. is when you get a new vehicle. Yes, every manufacturer or every dealer does a 107 point ins inspection. It doesn't mean that they are absolutely looking over every fine detail, like scratches in your glass. Correct. Very common to have scratches in your glasses, and you need to take care of that. Not very common, common. It is common that you can have defects in the glass, even on a brand new vehicle, unfortunately. Excuse the background noise. There was just opening the garage, right? I choose to go with Green Valley Tent. For that reason, they are family owned since 1983, and I like to support local company. I will say, Vegas, our tent industry is like every other industry. You're gonna have plenty of shops that are gonna do the right thing. Uh -huh. They're gonna install the correct film, they're gonna install it correctly, and they're gonna do a great job. It's gonna come down to, and there's also shops that, yes, that are unfortunately are going to try to sell you one thing, give you a price, wait for you to come inside, and throw you another price for a different film, and all of a sudden you thought you're paying 200, now it's up to 700. Like what just happened those shops exist too um the biggest difference you're going to get from the high-end shops lower-end shops is, is quality of work it's the experience it's coming in getting explained what the film is what it's actually going to do and um, um taking care of your customer in that way so it, it, that's what it really comes down to and now it's doing my last back window which is the driver's side passenger door in the rear Super sharp. Believe me, those rubber always get cut. And this is talking about my previous tin on my Lexus, the tin company. And it's hard to fight that off because you know, unless you take a picture beforehand with dated picture. But nowadays, if you have an iPhone, if you take a picture or a video, it was date stamped it, so you get to do that. Just so you guys know, you don't have to have Ricky, you know, the co-owner to tint your window. Every single person here, they are certified, well qualified to do all your tints for your Tesla or any other car. He mentioned he do commercially, home and everything. Commercial car wrap, not no color change. 
but they also do PPF, full car PPF, ultimate PPF, deluxe package. And they also run special, like any other sales out there, they also run special. The best, the best way it is, just go to their website, which is going to be linked on my description. They update their pricing almost every season. So whatever quote that I give you on the pricing, do not quote me on that, right? But I'd rather than you guys go to their website to get their most updated pricing. So that way, you know what to expect, what to expect to pay. And they're really, really awesome people from the front end ladies that work there to the owner himself to everybody else they just straightforward they tell you the way it is and ultimately you make the decision whether you want to go to ceramic crystalline so ultimately the decision is yours and how do you want to protect your loved one from the heat out here especially in vegas and i'm sure any other places that hot so yeah there you go. Now we're in process of putting Crystalline 3M, one of the best film produced by 3M. Well, that's the best film, period. Right, Ricky? Right. Crystalline is, is the top of the line, period. There is no other one for 3M product. And those of you that are asking me, do they put that? You know, well, what was that white tape called? A guidance tape, right? Mm, I don't remember the technical name for it, to be honest. Um, to answer your, you guys' question, they're no longer doing that for reasons, okay? But rest assured, if you see any blemish on your window after it's done, they take care of it. And I'm, they've been doing this so much that you don't have to worry about such thing right those of you that have been dming me asking me a question about whether they put that tape no as you can see they don't do that any longer and can you tell us um why you stopped you doing that ricky it was messing with the shrinking of the of the powder itself so okay that tape is extremely thick so it raises off the edge of the film when i'm shrinking it on it was there was um, there was no net gain because as long as you are using a nice clean blade okay. and you snap it off every time and you use the correct pressure and the correct, correct angle, you're not going to etch the glass. What's going to etch glass is a dull old blade. So if you are being lazy and you don't snap the blades constantly or not putting a new blade in, absolutely you can scratch it. But you can still even do it through that tape. That tape is still cuttable. Okay. It's not it's not a non-cuttable tape. So you'd have to. I was finding that you had to put even more pressure on the on the cut when we use that tape that I didn't like how much pressure was putting down on that. So we, okay. just, we just stopped using it. And that's just that's pure personal preference. We, we've been doing windshields our for twenty plus years and when it comes down to it, as long as you take proper steps, you use a new blade, snap your blades on every cut, you don't have to worry about anything. And in the event if they ever you see any blemish, you can take care of it anyway, right? Correct. So there you go guys. Don't worry about that white tape, all right? If in the event you see any blemish on your window, any cut, anything, like you know, because they inspect it prior, they will take care of it. That's the reason why, one of the reason why you gotta go to pro shop, you gotta go to established shop. Don't don't go to those garage that was there. They can beat you by two hundred, whatever. You get what you pay for. If you if you own a Tesla, you're already paying, so pay extra. All right, guys, as you can see yourself, he have no problem for me to video it because he trusts his work and he's been doing it for forever. And most importantly, I'm sure he got steady him, guys.
go with the professional. Go with the professional. Pay. So what I was saying, go with the professional, guys. Pay the fee. You get what you pay for when you do with professional. That white thing that you saw doesn't necessarily better. I know, I'm sure a lot of you guys worry about scratching the windshield with your razor blade, but if you don't know, and the unfortunate happen when you go to a pro 3M shop, they will take care of it. They've been doing this forever. Let them do their job. Just enjoy the result. After all those cuts, if you see any cuts, This is why the windshield costs so much more money. As you can see, it's not a computer cut. It's a hand cut and so much precision needed and so much time spent, All right? As you can see right now, the boss himself prepping the windshield. So he's, you're washing it with a soap solution? Yeah, just soap and water and then using a uh, scrubby. 3M scotch pad. Okay. Just to knock any, any dirt or anything loose. And then as I am squeegeeing it, I am looking for to see if it left anything behind. Because awesome. sometimes if there is glue or something like that, Scrubby isn't going to necessarily get it. You might have to put a blade through it, but new vehicles, usually just a nice, good, firm scrub. You're good to go. Here we go, guys. They're finally going to install the crystalline windshield window tint. By the way, this is 70%. All right. Definitely two men's job. One from each side of the car. And let's look at it from the other side. Adjust completely. Make sure everything goes right. And yeah. So basically, the film was cut for that sensor around it, as you can see right there, right? This never was. Goes underneath there. So here there is no film underneath there, but everything else is covered with 3M crystalline. Good. All right, so we're all done. So now it's the uh, carry maintenance. Okay. Don't roll the windows up or down for four to five days. Okay. Don't clean the inside of the windows for 30. Don't use any ammonia products. Okay. Here's our class center. Care instructions are on the back of that. We also put a hanger in the window. Just that I'll go over the care instructions again. At the same time, if you have any questions at any time, okay. don't hesitate to call us. Um, you might see what well, might look like some described haziness or it looks like um, dimples in the window. That is okay. just water moisture between the tin and the glass. Mm -hmm. that it's curing. You gotta let it sit outside, let it bake. Uh -huh. That will all dissipate, you don't see it. Okay, it takes about four or five business days? Manufacturer standards, 30 to 90 days. 30 to 90 days, okay. That is a nationwide average. Uh -huh. Yes, when we're in when Vegas is at full peak, full peak Vegas, okay. 100 and something degrees. 
Yes, a couple days usually does the trick. Okay, and as far as the warranty? Lifetime warranty, it's already been registered with 3M and already been emailed to you. Okay, so everything is already emailed to me. Okay, sounds good. Thank you no for your business. I appreciate it. Thank you. Guys, come through. This Beautiful is the fight. picture before the tent. And this is the picture after the tent. All right, guys, that concludes my window tent experience with Green Valley Window Tents. They're nothing but excellent, professional, and most importantly, very helpful with their pricing, straightforward. And sh big shout out to Ricky for doing such an exceptional job with my 2023 Tesla Model Y. All right. So those of you that live in Vegas, give them a try. And I hope you got the same result as I do. And I'm very happy with them with from the start to finish. And make sure you click the thumbs like, share my video, and peace out for now. Until next time, guys. Chase back up.